Welcome to another video. This question was sent in from India and this is part of the G examination. I don't know if it is. I think there's a junior, there's a main, there's an advanced, but this is just from India and it's part of the, I think it's a qualifying exam you have to take to get into the, the university. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section so I know what this is all about. Okay, but this question is both easy and hard. It is hard if you don't know what to do. It's easy if you know what to do. Um, how would you solve this? Well, it's very important that you know the relationship between this and this. Because if you know that this is the conjugate of this, then you can use some of your algebra skills to manipulate both of them and get an answer. Let's get into the video. So because I know these two are conjugates of each other, and I know what happens when you interact two conjugates, it is either the radical signs disappear, or one becomes the reciprocal of the other, depending on the difference between these two numbers, then we can work something out. So let's start by just dealing with one of them. So I'm going to divide everything by this guy. Now I know this is going to give me 1, so this is 1 plus what will this become? Well, this is the ratio of two right, two thirds, so I can easily simplify it and see what's going to come out of this. So this is going to be square root of um, 3 minus square root of 2 over rad 3 plus rad 2. Now this, if you want to simplify, you have to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, right? We said we don't want square root in the denominator, so we try to multiply by the conjugate, so the square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over square root of 3 minus square root of 2. So what do we have? On top, we're going to end up with the square root of 3 minus square root of 2 squared. And under, we're going to end up with, if you multiply this out, we're going to end up with 3 minus 2. So our answer is just rad 3 minus rad 2 all squared. Oh, that's what you get here. Huh. So this is going to be rad 3 minus rad 2 all squared. And that's going to give you 10 over square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Okay. So. Mm, Oh, okay. Now, because if I try to multiply out now, it's going to be a problem. But one thing I have seen, because this became 1, okay, then it means that if I rationalize this, something is going to happen. Let me see if I can rationalize this too, okay? So, I have 10 over rad 3 plus rad 2. Ah, oh, it's looking juicy. Okay, multiply by the radical minus rad 2 over rad 3 minus rad 2. Do you see, I just rationalized it. I want to get rid of this thing in the denominator and that's a good strategy to use. What happens? This is going to become 1 again, just like this one became 1. In the denominator, I'm going to get 10 times rad 3 minus rad 2 over 1. Oh, so this becomes 1 plus rad 3 minus rad 2 squared. Is it squared? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is raised to power x. This is supposed to have x, and this is supposed to have x also. Oh, it's supposed to have x. Come on, come on, you got to do that. 2x, and this will be equal to, what did I end up with? I just ended up with this one. This is going to be 10 times rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to power x. Nice. So I can make a quadratic out of this and say let, let's do t be equal to rad 3 
minus rad 2 raised to power x. And then we solve it and see what happens. 1 plus t squared is equal to 10t. Which means, which implies t squared minus 10t plus 1 is equal to 0. And that means, well, we have to use the quadratic formula because there's no way we can do this. So we're going to say that t is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 100, minus 4ac, which is minus 4, all over 2a. That means t equals 10 plus or minus the square root of 96 over 2, which is equal to, <laughs> t equals, this is going to be 5 plus or minus, now let's still write 10, so you can see what I did. Let's write it here. This is going to be equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 16 times 6 over 2. So that gives me um, 10 plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 square root of 6 over 2. Okay, so we got t equals 5 plus or minus. Okay, this is what we have. What did we say t was again? Let's see if we can make sense of this. Okay, we said t is therefore square root of three minus the square root of two raised to power x is equal to five plus or minus two rad six. Okay. So, how is this connected to this? Okay, now this is why I said this sounds like a niche. You have to know certain things about radicals and how to sum them, multiply them, or flip them. One thing you should know is that whenever you have the sum or difference of two radicals, when you square this guy, okay, you're going to get one of these answers. It's just crazy like that. So let's try to square this. You notice that rad 3 minus rad 2. If you multiply it by itself, rad 3 minus rad 2. Let's see what we're going to get. This times this is going to give you 3. This times this is going to give you minus rad 6. This times this is minus rad 6. And this times this is plus 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5 minus rad 6. So you notice minus 2 rad 6 rather. So 5 minus 2 rad 6 is actually the square of this. So since this is plus or minus, we can say one of the answers already that rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to power x is equal to the square of this, which is the negative version of this, which is 5 minus 2 rad 6, implies x is equal to 2. However, if the second answer is what we pick, let's put it here. If rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to x is equal to 5 plus 2 rad 6, it means we're saying that this here is the square of the positive version. So this is what we're claiming. We're saying that rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to power x is equal to the square of the positive version, which is going to be rad 3 plus rad 2 squared. But we cannot say that x is equal to 2 because these are not the same. But if you remember the miracle that happened when we did the conjugates, because of the difference between these two numbers, 
This is the reciprocal of this. That is true for every third where the two arguments are consecutive numbers. Okay, so we know that this is equal to the reciprocal 1 over rad 3 minus rad 2. That's what this is. I actually should have used this from the beginning. And this means this is this raised to power negative 2. So this is equal to rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to power negative 2. That is what rad 3 minus rad 2 raised to power x is. So this tells us that x equals negative 2. So this is one answer. This is one answer. And those are the two possible solutions. The most important thing is that the reciprocal of a third is equal to its conjugate. If the two radicals or the two radicands are consecutive numbers, like this. Okay. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.